Hi, Click Millionaires. It's Scott Fox. I'm here with another update for you and the answer to this week's question from a ClickMillionaires.com member. Our question this week comes from our good friend Liz in Cumbria in the United Kingdom. And Liz wrote me and asked about optimizing using niche keywords. In fact, she's having problems finding the best keywords for her niche topic. She says, Dear Scott, I've been doing some keyword research to try and find a much smaller niche within the absolutely enormous and competitive niche of website design. I've tried Word Tracker, Market Samurai, Google AdWords, and all give me lots of information, but with wildly differing results. What looks like a good keyword with one tool looks like a complete no-no with another. I'm very confused and reluctant to spend a lot of time and energy on something which seems to be difficult to win. Apparently, even with different keyword tools, none of them are necessarily accurate. Even Google AdWords can be way off the mark. Have you noticed this? Do you know of any other keyword tools that are more accurate? Or can you recommend other ways of researching the market? And that's from uh, Click Millionaire member Liz in the United Kingdom. Well, Liz, you're correct. The keyword research problems that you're suggesting are absolutely true, especially for niches. These days, most new online businesses do try to tackle a niche because the bigger spaces are already full of competitors. So your best bet is to drill down and find a niche, but how do you find the best keywords to use for search engine optimization and for pay-per-click advertising if there isn't enough research out there to go on? That's your caught in between this rock. You've got a good niche, but that means there isn't enough traffic to measure the keywords that are best for that niche. This is a problem that everybody faces and one that I've wrestled with myself in some of the niches that I work in. So if you're looking, for example, at uh, maybe a blog about uh, yeah, cactus planting supplies for uh, Arizona native cactuses, that might be too small a niche to have enough samples out there for these tools to tell you what the best keywords are. Or maybe you've got a, a blog about homeschooling but in Arabic, or you have an online community that you've started to help support people with some rare medical condition. These are niches of niches, and they're really good for profitability, but hard to optimize for keywords. So what do you do? Well, you can spend a lot of money on different guru products and different tools and software subscriptions, but at the end of the day, they don't have enough data necessarily to give you the truth about which keywords are best for those niches. And in fact, the truth actually probably comes down to your own gut instinct. But here's what I would suggest that you do. First of all, make a list of 10 or 15 of the keywords and phrases that you think are most likely to be searched upon by people that you are targeting. So 10 or 15 keyword phrases that people are most likely to search upon. And you want to use the actual words that people use to search upon and include variations in phrasing. For example, website as one word or website as two words. Include plurals and even misspelling sometimes. And for you, Liz, since you're based in the United Kingdom, you might want to investigate the different spellings that sometimes crop up to cause misunderstandings between English English and American English. <laughs> All of those are grist for the mill when you're looking at good keywords because those innocent, seemingly innocent phrasing differences can actually have wildly varying amounts of searches upon them. For example, just last week I wrote a blog post about what it costs to start a new website and you can find that post at scottfox.com if you're looking for that. I did a little video about it even. But without using any fancy or expensive keyword research tools, I know that um, starting a new website is a very common problem but also a very heavily written about topic on the internet. So I didn't bother going deep into heavy keyword research, and I just did this. I took the keyword phrases that I thought were most useful and applicable, and I just typed them into Google and checked to see how many results there were for each version of the phrase. So for example, I typed in, what does it cost to build a website? And that got 791 results. And that was a little bit better than what does it cost to build a website with website as one word as opposed to two words. That only had 550 results. And then I rephrase the question to say, how much does it cost to build a website? With website as one word. How much does it cost to build a website? That had over 5,000 results. So that's clearly better than the first phrasing that I had. Then I split the word website into two words. How much does it cost to build a website? And that had almost 7,000 results. So just like that, I've determined that how much does it cost to build a website is more than almost 10 times as valuable and is searched upon as what does it cost to build a website. Now those sound the same when you're just speaking in English, but as keywords, there's a fundamental difference. And you know what? 
when I put up my video with that little bit of research behind it and I said I titled it how much does it cost to build a website well it's number one on Google now <laughs> so you can go check and you'll see a video from me with exactly that title now that's a very competitive niche but I made it less competitive by being very specific about the keywords and matching them to results that already exist in Google the cost for that zero <laughs> my favorite price and probably yours too so that's the sort of technique that I'd suggest now the second part of this Liz is that you can drive yourself crazy with this stuff and you can analyze to death the keywords that are appropriate for your business so I would suggest doing all the research that you think is appropriate doing the best job you can but then moving on keywords are not the whole game in fact you know what it's just gonna sound shocking to internet business folks but we sold stuff to each other for thousands of years before ever identifying keywords or doing any search engine optimization research. That sort of research is only one part of your marketing plan. And if your niche is very crowded, that doesn't mean that you should give up. It means that you might have to do some real marketing. Go back to the old way of marketing, which is actually delivering really good products, networking with your customers, convincing them to tell other people, and maybe doing some advertising. Those are all completely legitimate ways of marketing that we often miss online. Frankly, I think that's because there isn't as much money in suggesting that stuff, and, and all the online marketing gurus want to sell you different products and different software that solve these problems for you of keyword research. But keyword research is only a small part of the game. And if you do it right, I'll tell you hands down that a website that delivers good products and services at a quality price in a timely manner with friendly customer service, that's going to get you a lot farther than an okay product with perfect keywords. So that's my suggestion for you, Liz. I hope that's helpful for you, and I hope that you have great success with the niche that you're targeting, because I know that you are you're a Click Millionaires member, and I know you from our interactions in the forum, and you're going to build a quality business. So do the best you can with the keywords, and then get to work. <laughs> the bottom line is those keyword phrases are only part of the picture, and you may not need keywords at all if you do a really good job with your business. So that's our clickmillionaires.com member question for the week. Thanks for checking in. I'd also like to welcome all of our new members. We've got uh, John checking in from Seattle, Lisa from Quebec, uh, Ola has joined us from London, Ranjini from Belize, uh, Scott from Texas, Susan from Kirkland, Washington, Aaron from Springfield, Massachusetts, Mike from North Carolina, Judith from Tampa, Florida, Jill from New Zealand, and a bunch of other friendly folks all now active at clickmillionaires.com in the forum. So if you like this kind of friendly advice, come on and join us. There's a free trial at clickmillionaires.com, obviously. And we also this week have our website tune-up community clinic. The latest one is from Richard. He's a member from Quincy, Massachusetts, and he has a health and exercise website that he'd like you fellow members to review. So please stop by in the website design and usability section of the forum to give Richard comments on his website. You could win a free month of membership here at clickmillionaires.com. We also have our featured member awards. It's the end of another month, and I'd like to hear who you think has been the most helpful and generous with their time in the forum. Of course, that doesn't include me. I'm there every day anyway. But if there's somebody else that you'd like to recognize, shoot me an email with this their name, and we'll tally up the votes and pick them. Uh, we'll pick three of those winners as our featured member award winners for this month, and they'll each get a free month of membership as well. I'd also direct your attention to the latest video. It's a fun one. Uh, how to ka-ching. How to make your PC make a ka-ching noise. Ka-ching, like a cash register, and that's a lot of fun. I have my computer set up that way, and you can do it now, too, with the video that I posted in the video section here on clickmillionaires.com, as well as at scottfox.com, and you can make your PC ka-ching with a few simple steps configuring your email client to make a noise whenever you get an online sale order. It's a pretty motivating thing to hear that cash rolling in in real time. And lastly, I would like to congratulate uh, Dr. Jerry from Illinois. He's our weekly video winner. He's a member of clickmillionaires.com and he had his picture posted in his profile. So you need your picture posted and of course you have to be a member too. So congratulations to Dr. Jerry. Look forward to giving him a prize from the Scott Fox shop. So that's it for now. I hope you're doing well and I hope that those keyword research suggestions helped you, especially if you've targeted a competitive niche like our good friend Liz from the United Kingdom. I'll see you again real soon. I'm Scott Fox, the host of ClickMillionaires.com.